Blackfort resigns as MP. Fantastic. I brought you this story last week, I think, before anybody else, as far as I'm aware as well, that Ian Blackford was going to stand down. Of course, the usual people on YouTube comments gave me a lot of sticks saying he's not going to stand down. He's one of us. He's one of the independence campaigners. Well, guess what? He is standing down after the next election. And this is what he had to say. Although I will not be standing for the Westminster Parliament at the next election, I look forward to playing my part in the continuing campaign for Scottish independence and supporting our First Minister and the SNP as we go forward to the next election and beyond. Whatever he says, whatever crappy comments he puts forward, whatever platitudes he feeds the media, the fact is that he's now got a real fight on his hands to keep his seat. I don't know how many of you saw me on Alistair's show on a force for good the other week, but we made this exact point. In the past, you really didn't need to be very good at anything to become an SMP, MP or MSP. You just had to put the rosette on your chest and in a lot of areas you would be nomin you would be elected almost automatically without any sort of challenge. You didn't need charisma, you didn't need brains, you didn't have to be able to speak to people, you just needed the party's nomination. Now these cretins face one hell of a battle to hang on to their seats and the brainlessness of most of them is going to be exposed in a major way when they actually have to go out there, do hustings and campaign properly to convince people this time that they are the ones they should vote for. This is why Blackford is now stepping away. It was the end of him when Stephen Flynn stabbed him in the back. It was even more the end of him when Sturgeon went and he and his cabal along with Sturgeon, BT, Murrell have all been ousted. Blackford knew that he had no chance whatsoever of winning his seat back the coward.